if you come here, the first thing you will see in the morning, people are flocking in here for their treatment. Some are here to test themselves if they do have TB. But this is how they start the day. Their routine is to sing. So when they sing, they feel um, they feel at ease. In South Africa, we have a huge problem with TB. We have of the highest incidences in the world. In poor areas where people live under crowded conditions, it is much easier to transmit. TB is a disease that affects the whole family, it affects the community, members of the family get sick later on. It's difficult to really wrap your mind around the enormity of the global tuberculosis situation. Every year there are more than 9 million cases and 2 million deaths. The Foundation has taken a two-pronged approach to improving the global tuberculosis situation. The first is to develop better tools for diagnosing, treating, and preventing tuberculosis. The second prong is to better utilize the tools that we have today in those settings where standard TB interventions are failing the most. We have a grant to a group called CREATE, which is uh, focused on TB HIV integration. We are part of the CREATE consortium and what our study is doing is we are using public health interventions to try and decrease TB in areas with high HIV prevalence. There are tremendous problems with stigma. People thinking they have TB but scared of going to the clinic because they might also have HIV. We literally went door to door, knocked on doors, asked permission and tested everyone in that house for TB in an attempt to find out how many cases of undetected TB there are in these communities. We need to understand the reality of the situation on the ground. There are a lot of steps involved. It is extremely time consuming and labor uh, intensive. And then there's a challenge that we don't have good TB diagnostics and you have to wait a very long time to get the results back. South Africa, which is a huge country with a huge TB problem, has only one TB reference lab in the country. The process is extremely long and cumbersome on a number of levels, and I think it's really important that our grant is going to explore these issues. We've been doing the background studies, we've been collecting data, and now we're starting to actually intervene in our communities. We're extremely optimistic that our grantees will develop important new products which will facilitate the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of TB in the future. We're going to make a difference in tuberculosis. We need to stay in this game for the long haul.